What if I told you your study system is broke? In fact, what if I showed you a more efficient way to do it? And as a resident, show you how I'm studying and why it's so quick and easy. I'm gonna show you all of that, guys, I promise, in this video after this intro. All right guys, what is going on? Lock Shape and MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Now, in this video, guys, we are talking about a topic that I get emails, comments about all the time, which is my studying is in trouble. I need help. I have a test in eight days, like, help, help me. <laughs> and I totally get it. I used to be in y'all's shoes, but it's because your study system is likely broken, guys. Mine was, and it's hard to identify because you're naturally taught to study like this. But in med school, as a pre-med, and definitely in residency, it doesn't work. But before we get into this video, guys, if you do enjoy this content, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I know a lot of you guys are new subscribers, so welcome to the channel. Hopefully, I can help you on your journey. Um, and if you do enjoy this video, then also make sure you give it a like. But let's get into it. So first, let's talk about why your study system is likely broken. Now, no one likes to hear that. It's almost like hearing your baby is ugly, but I promise you guys, you're probably studying an incorrect, at least inefficient way. I know I was, so maybe I'll be able to help any of you guys that are doing the same thing. Now, the main issues that we have, guys, is that we don't study with flow. Now, what that means is that you're likely doing 101 different things at the start, middle, and end of your kind of study system. You're trying to read a syllabus chapter. You're watching a lecture, an audio lecture. You're trying to review, write down notes, do flashcards, do some practice questions. There's just so much, but you're kind of going back and forth between all of them, and then you're having this like, crap. I really don't know what's going on. I don't understand the topic, and I have a test in eight days. Like, help me. Those are the emails I tend to get. Um, but today, guys, I'm gonna tell you how you can make a system that needs to be frictionless, needs to be effortless, when you're doing something, there's nothing else that matters except that kind of task. And I'll, I'll give you an example in a second. But currently, your study system has you going back and forth from lectures to audios to reading to reviewing to flashcards. There's just so much going on. And if you don't have a good flow of switching back and forth between the two, then you just end up like an IKEA furniture, like the ones I just made, which probably just looked like a total mess. Instead, you want to be like a factory. You want to be a factory where step one is required to move on to step two. You can't even work about step 10 right now you're just at step one so let's talk about a more efficient way to study so let's talk about four things that you really need to have in a flow of studying more efficiently there's four steps first step is distinguish then gain then retain and finally master these are the steps that you need to do i'm going to break them down really quick one, distinguish. When you're learning a topic for the first time, you're going through a book. I'm gonna use this as an example in a second. You wanna be able to quickly identify what do I not know and what do I know if it still is important enough for me to jot down whatever I'm using as notes. Step number two is to be able to gain that information. Once you identify something as like, hey, pay attention, make sure you learn this, you need to have a process of gaining that information. And then step three is retaining. This is where your review comes in. Maybe you do flashcards, maybe you do outline, maybe you do group study. You do something. This is how you make sure the information you did learn it remains in your head before test day. And finally, the last step is to master. Now, this obviously requires some repetition. It even happens after you've taken the exam when you're going into your rotations and you're a resident, you're a doctor. Mastery is a long-term process. But again, those four steps are distinguish, gain, retain, and master. So let's talk about a system that you can do to make sure you're doing distinguishing before you even get into the retaining or the mastery step. So to be able to help you guys understand how to study efficiently, we're gonna just use one of my residency books that I'm using currently to study for uh, my internal medicine residency. So if you look through this book, you realize that it's not different from a lot of your syllabus chapters, which is just, it's bulky, there's a lot of paragraphs, and it can become intimidating. And the natural flow, again, is to read a chapter and say, crap, I don't understand that, maybe I should make a flashcard, maybe I should take notes, maybe I should highlight. And that switching back and forth, guys, between one task and another, your brain just doesn't do well. So instead, we need to have a process where I can read without worrying about jotting down notes. So here's how I do it. Let me find a nice, heavy paragraph. So this is perfect. So here we're talking about definition of syncope. I'm about to be on a neuro clinic pretty soon, so this is perfect. And when I'm reading this versus trying to focus on taking notes, all I'm doing, guys, is I'm reading, you know, actively trying to pay attention to what I know as well as what is unknown to me. 
And as I'm going through it, I just leave a little mark on the line of that particular fact or near that paragraph. Basically what I'm doing is I'm telling myself, hey, go through the whole thing, then go back and find your markings. Find all of the lines or paragraphs that you mark that you consider to be important. And now try to distinguish, you know, you've already kind of distinguished them. Now try to gain that information. This may be taking everything that I put um, as a marking into a flashcard or putting that in my outlines. But now I don't have to focus on everything. Maybe I understood this chart here and I don't have to worry about jotting it down. Now all I'm looking for is at that paragraph. Again, my brain can easily focus on the information that I consider it to be important. So hopefully that makes sense. Just go through your syllabus chapters, your PowerPoints, and somehow jot just the pieces of facts that you plan on taking notes on, but just don't take notes on them right now. This way you can read and actively retain information without trying to you know, transition between um, different tasks. So now step two is game. So I would go back and look at all the things that I marked, maybe make Anki cards, because I love making flashcards. And if you guys wanna learn how I made flashcards, there'll be a free video course that you guys can check out below, as well as another YouTube video that I explain the whole method in a very brief um, timeline. So again, that'll be linked down below. So that's game. Right? Pick whatever system you want to go ahead and like learn the material for the first time. I love using flashcards, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. And then finally, going into the last three steps is to retain and master. So retain, again, if it's flashcards, it's very easy. Anki gives you a nice like schedule that you can be using to review, but create some kind of review system, whether it be reviewing on the weekends or reviewing something you learned a week before. So if it's Monday's lectures, do Monday's lectures plus review Monday's lectures from the week before. Have some kind of review schedule that's personalized to you. And then finally is master. And again, that's about repetition. So making sure that you're somehow creating a system to repeat and review. Now I know I rushed through those last few steps, but I did that on purpose. And that's because most of us, including myself, have issues at the start of our study system, not so much at the end. That's because that distinguishing and gaining phase, we try to like transition between them back and forth, it becomes really muddy and we become overwhelmed. So I wanna make sure you guys understand, focus on your distinguishing first, go into your gaining phase, and then you can watch other videos in case you wanna learn how to review um, and study for exams. They'll be all linked down below, as well as in books and video courses that I've made to help students just like you. But again, guys, it's super efficient to be able to focus on one thing at a time. You're going to be a factory where step one is going to be basically where you know nothing. And the final step is where you're going to be a competent student that will understand that fact and that topic. But hopefully this video, guys, helped you out. Um, if you do have more questions regarding studying, make sure you comment down below. And as another aside, if you do want to learn how to study better, um, as well as just do better in medical school in general, I do have books and video courses, which I'll also link down below for you guys. But again, hopefully this helps you make a little bit more of an efficiency in your studying system. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll stop babbling. Thank you guys so much for being part of my journey. Hopefully I've been a little help to you on yours. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, my friends.